turn on the news only to find out that several tourist cities have been wiped off the face of the earth. Many people died, millions were left with no roof over their heads, and a huge cloud of ash and smoke has turned the sky black. Power lines have been cut off, all air traffic has ceased, the climate is about to change. You can't believe your eyes and ears, the story has repeated. With 41 active volcanoes, Java in Indonesia is the most volcanic island on Earth. And it's here, on Kawa Ijen Volcano, they faced their toughest challenge. The team have come to film miners who dig sulfur from the heart of this active volcano. Filled with a cocktail of noxious gases, this is one of the most toxic places on the planet. One of Earth's most destructive forces. Giving us a glimpse into the inner workings of our planet, these explosive mountains can spew out massive amounts of rock, superheated ash, and lava. History is littered with stories of deadly volcanic eruptions, from the eruption of Mount Vesuvius to Krakatoa. Today, volcanoes still pose a threat to some countries and the lives of those living near them. But when volcanoes erupt in modern times, we don't simply pass stories down to other generations. We have cameras with which we can capture the moment, allowing others to see the events unfold as if they were actually there. Even though the chances of having a camera pointed at the perfect play perfect time are slim, it has happened, and some truly amazing footage has been recorded.
can even say that it's just gaining strength. But one day, the patience of the volcano will end. First, a powerful explosion will occur. Then a pyroclastic flow will follow, sweeping away everything in its path. This is a mixture of hot volcanic gases, ash, and rock fragments. The streams are expected to accelerate to about 160 kilometers per hour. That's 100 miles per hour. Perhaps they'll be even faster. You definitely can't outrun the eruption. Scientists believe that during the destruction of Pompeii, the volcano produced six separate pyroclastic emissions. So the area that would be immediately affected could be huge. At the same time, a huge pillar of smoke and ashes would rise up, the height of which can reach 32 kilometers or 20 miles. During the eruption, a huge amount of thermal energy is released, leading to the death of many people. In just a second, everyone in the affected area will die. We can say that it will become hellishly hot, and this is not even a metaphor. The sky over the region will turn black. People and animals will have nothing to breathe. Even if the weather is windy that day, it will only make it worse. Air currents will not bring fresh air. Celsius, that's 932 degrees Fahrenheit. According to open sources, this was enough to kill people in a split second. The temperature was so high that all the bodily fluids and tissues in the body of the victims simply evaporated. Now, imagine that something similar could happen in the modern world if measures are not taken. I wouldn't wish this even upon my worst enemy. If you want to know about the consequences of the eruption of other volcanoes in Earth, 